Are you thinking about moving to Waikiki but want to know what the pros and cons are of living there? Well, in this video, we're going to go over 15 pros and cons of living in Waikiki. So stick around to get all the details. See you on the other side. All right, guys, like I mentioned before, we're gonna go over the 15 pros and cons of living in Waikiki. Now that's specifically on the island of Oahu out in the chain of islands of Hawaii. So just keep that in mind. Sometimes people get that confused. So we're gonna go over those 15 pros and cons. Now, before we jump into that, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Patrick Longley. I'm a licensed real estate agent out here in Hawaii. I've been helping buyers and sellers purchase and sell their property and their piece of paradise for the last decade. And I'd be happy to help you if you guys are looking to move to Hawaii. So if you'd like to get in contact with me, I'd love to help you out. Got my contact information right here, or you can directly DM me on any of my social media platforms. With that being said, let's jump into the 15 pros and cons of living in Waikiki. So let's start with the cons, then we'll move into the pros. Con number one, parking. Now in Waikiki, it's the main town. It's in Honolulu, it's the main hub of where we see a lot of the jobs and things of that nature. And with that being said, when you put people who are working, tourists, people just coming and going, parking can be kind of a bear. Most of the time it's gonna be meter parking. You can find a couple little secret spots where there's larger parking spots than others, but generally speaking, parking can be kind of a bear. So it's something you wanna be aware of. Number two, tourists. Now you may be a tourist yourself and I've got nothing bad to say about that, but all I'm saying is if you're living in Waikiki, you are going to see lots of transient people, lots of tourists, tourism, and what comes with that is parking issues, it's super busy, hustle and bustle, restaurants are usually full, but sometimes people love that fast paced lifestyle, a little bit mesh and mix of different types of people. So it's just something you wanna be aware of that with tourism comes busy lifestyle, full restaurants, parking being difficulty, so just something to keep in mind. Number three, traffic. So again, you're in the hub, right? So lots of people coming and going, so traffic can be kind of a bear, whether you're in the heart of Waikiki, or even if you're leaving town, especially during those rush hour times, which is gonna be going to town in that like seven to 8.30, or if you're leaving town between 3.30 and six, there's going to be traffic because people are coming to Honolulu to work or leaving to go home. So just something to keep in mind that if you're living in Waikiki, you're literally in the hub of where everybody is working. And with that being said, comes lots of traffic. The fourth con is going to be crowded surf. Now, if you're not a surfer you're not worried about this but what i've found i prefer to surf the north shore which is a little bit more mellow in regards to crowds but generally speaking if you surf in town that's going to be in waikiki or the south shore because there's so many people like tourists are there or people who are working there and they want to go surf after work it can get kind of crowded and a lot of the surf spots which there are a ton of them can get very crowded especially in the early mornings before work you know in that like 5 a.m to 8 a.m or after work so 3 30 to like 6 or sunset basically same times where there's going to be lots of traffic. So you got traffic in the water and traffic out of the water all about the same time. So just keep that in mind. The surf is a little bit more crowded in town. Number five is a faster pace lifestyle. Now this can be a pro or con depending on your type of personality type. Me, myself, I really don't like cities. I don't like to go into LA or San Francisco where it's lots of hustle and bustle. Um, but in Waikiki, that's basically what you have. It's again, the hub, there's a lot going on. Um, and it's just a faster paced lifestyle, which is kind of a con for me because I'm not really into that, but it's really just in the eye of the beholder. Number six is noise. Now, if you, again, are coming from a city that probably doesn't bother you, um, my girlfriend used to live in town and whenever I'd go visit her, it was always a joke because literally every 30 minutes, she lived right on the Alawai, we would hear an ambulance go by and, or somebody screaming outside. <laughs> It's just the hustle and bustle comes with a lot of noise and that's something that people can get used to if they live in town or if they're moving from a city to another city. But for me personally, I kind of live in Kailua. It's a little bit quieter. So I appreciate that than hearing an ambulance every 30 minutes. But again, to each their own. Okay, those were the cons. Now let's get into the pros of living in Waikiki. Number one, nightlife. Now you're in Honolulu or Waikiki. There are tons of restaurants, bars, clubs, what have you all over the place from Waikiki all the way to Chinatown, Kaka'ako, Ala Moana. There's lots to do when you're in the heart of Oahu. So if you are somebody who likes to go out and enjoy themselves, go get some drinks with your friends, Waikiki is a great spot for you because there is tons to do. Number two, walkability score. Now Waikiki itself is basically to the left of the Alawai. And you'll see in this map right here that there's basically a quadrant square of you know four or five blocks when you go from the Alawai to the beach. And the beautiful part about that is if you live in Waikiki in one of those condos, 
those, you basically can walk out your door and walk to the beach or walk to a restaurant. Just the walkability score is amazing and there's usually lots of people walking around. Now you can drive, of course. I would suggest getting a scooter because it's really easy in town to just scoot around. Parking's not an issue, but the walkability score in Waikiki is really good. Number three, plenty of surf. So like I mentioned, it does get a bit crowded, but with that being said, there is so many surf spots in Waikiki and more specifically the South Shore, all the way from Kahala, Diamond Head, all the way up to basically Ala Moana where you've got bowls and a couple other surf spots. So there's plenty of spots for you to choose from. You can kind of find your favorite spot or your favorite crowd, but there's plenty of options in regards to different surf spots all within a very short proximity. Number four, higher inventory for condos. So if you're looking to purchase a condo, you're going to find most of the inventory is going to be in Honolulu or Waikiki because that's where we find pretty much all of the high rises and all those condos get stacked up on one another. So if you're looking for a condo or townhouse specifically in that 300 to 500 range, obviously you can go higher. You're going to find most of those in Waikiki. So if you're shopping and you want to live in Waikiki, you're most likely going to be buying a condo or townhouse. Hopefully that checks both boxes for you, which would be a pro because that's where all the inventory of condos are. Number five is the mall. Now the Alamoana Mall is an absolutely gorgeous mall. It's an indoor outdoor mall. It's beautiful to to walk through there on a beautiful day, which is pretty much every day. And they've got tons of shops. They've got a food court. They sometimes have entertainment there. They've got the high end, medium end, different shops all within the mall. And you could spend all day there. I wouldn't personally, but my girlfriend does all the time and it's a gorgeous mall to visit. Number six, tons of restaurants. So again, you're in the hub. I mean, you can't throw a rock and not hit a good restaurant. There's literally a restaurant every couple feet and they've got a large diversity of different types of food, Japanese, Chinese, Thai food, American food, plate lunch, anything and everything that you want will be in Waikiki and within a short distance. So if you're a foodie, it's a great place to live. Number seven is live music. So whether you're just walking the strip of Waikiki where you'll see a bunch of people playing music or if you actually wanna see a legit show and you wanna to go to to the Waikiki Shell, which is massive. There's lots of live music out in Hawaii and specifically in Waikiki, because again, it's where the hustle and bustle and most of the money and people are. So you'll see that a lot of the shows, whether you're at the Bladesdale to see a comedy show or live music or the Shell or the Republic. I mean, there's so many different venues and there's tons of places where you can find live music, whether it's for free or if you wanna pay for it and see a big show, you got plenty of options in Waikiki. Now our eighth pro and the last one is going to be jobs and commute time. So if you're living in Waikiki, you're most likely gonna be working in Waikiki or Honolulu because that's where most of the jobs are. Whether you're a traveling nurse, we've got a couple different hospitals down there. You've got Queens Medical, you have Tripler if you're in the military, or if you're in tech or some other job, all of those jobs are most of the time gonna be in Honolulu. And if you're living in Waikiki, your commute is gonna be very short. You're looking at five, 10 minutes, basically from Waikiki to pretty much anywhere in the Honolulu area where most of the jobs are. So that's gonna be a huge pro if you are living and working in the same area because your commute will be very short. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps up the pros and cons of living in Waikiki. Again, if you are looking to move out here and want some assistance, I am a licensed real estate agent. I'd be happy to help you. I've got my contact information right here. So feel free to call, text, or email me. Love to help you out or you can directly DM me on any of my social media platforms. If you guys could do me a huge favor, just smash that like button as well as subscribe and the notification bell so you can get notified whenever I drop videos just like this. And with that being said, I'm Patrick from PatrickColonialRealty.com, powered by ESP Realty. Hope you guys have a beautiful day. I'll talk to you soon. Aloha.